This here is a water bear, also known as a moss piglet or tardigrade. And uh, today in this video, I would like uh, to show you where you're, you can find them so that you can also observe them uh, under the microscope. Hi, hello and welcome. Microbe hunter here. Well, tardigrades actually, strictly speaking, are not microorganisms. They are micro animals and you can find them uh, in moss uh, and uh, not in any kind of moss, uh, but uh, only certain types. And I'm going to uh, talk a little bit more about this uh, towards the end of the video. Now I've uh, visited a forest uh, several days ago and of course I always take along my sampling uh, container with some jars, uh, some tweezers, scissors of course and I found this uh, very nice uh, lush green moss uh, growing on a decomposing uh, wooden log and I took uh, some of the moss along simply to observe <laughs> what I'm able uh, to find there. Yeah so that's uh, me here in the forest um, of course it was a very nice day but in the forest uh, it was uh, quite temperate and very very nice temperature and that's important because uh, um, tardigrades even though they um, are able to withstand dryness uh, they're very resistant to dryness they still uh, like to have it um, um, a little bit moist so I uh, took along uh, the container um, of course I added also a little bit of water to prevent it from completely drying out and, and then um, at home again I uh, basically put it on a petri dish um, I added some tap water and uh, then I simply yeah tapped <laughs> the moss uh, in the petri dish and this uh, rinses and flushes out um, yeah whatever you're able to find in there of course many microorganisms as well I allowed all of the debris and the particles to settle down including tardigrades if present um, yeah a small drop of this uh, on a microscope slide a cover glass goes on top um, I removed all of the excess uh, water because it did not want uh, the microscope slide uh, to swim on the water yeah and actually it didn't take a um, much uh, long time and I was able to find uh, my first tardigrade as a matter of fact uh, pretty much every sample that I found uh, it contained uh, contained those tardigrades um, now, however, some moss samples were not uh, quite uh, yeah, successful, I also have to tell you. And I found out why. And the reason is, is uh, that uh, some moss, um, which is exposed uh, to large changes um, of temperature um, and maybe even sunlight, like the moss uh, growing um, exposed on rocks, um, I was not very successful in finding tardigrades uh, there. Of course, I also allowed uh, the moss uh, to take up some water. I added a little bit of water as well there. Um, but still, um, tardigrades were no nowhere to be found. Um, and the moss uh, in the forest, uh, which was always um, yeah, the, the constant temperature, never really dried out completely. Um, this is actually the type of moss uh, that uh, I found more successful. Now, um, in other types of moss uh, where there was a lot of um, change in temperature and moisture, um, of course, I found many other microorganisms as well, but not not so much those tardigrades. So I think this kind of shows uh, to me a little bit that uh, tardigrades are a little bit, uh, yeah, delicate in that respect. And as a matter of fact, I did also find some research um, that actually shows that while tardigrades are able to withstand uh, drying, um, yeah, they are dry resistant and then they come back to life when you add water. They don't like uh, high temperatures uh, very much. So so uh, this could be maybe also one of the reasons why moss that is exposed to, to sunlight and to, to drying um, yeah, might not be good for the tardigrades either. Well, um, yeah, I would like to also um, make a short um, announcement here now at the end. Um, if uh, you are interested uh, in participating in a little uh, video project, uh, then I would like to invite you to do that. It's 2023. It's uh, 300 years um, after yeah, the 300 year anniversary of Anthony van Leeuwenhoek. He is one one of the first uh, microscopists um, around. Um, he was one of the first microscopists around. I think it's a good idea to celebrate uh, yeah, his anniversary. So I would uh, recommend uh, that uh, maybe uh, we all make videos um, and uh, to give the videos a hashtag called uh, microscopy 300 years. Um, and then um, yeah, we're able to quickly find uh, those videos uh, that the community made uh, simply to remember um, his 300 year anniversary. Well, um, I wish you all the best uh, concerning tardigrade hunting. Um, yeah, uh, happy microbe hunting as always and see you around next time. Bye bye.